We've already reviewed the BMW 2 Series, but that was a coupe in Southern California. The roof has got to go. The 2 Series replaces the old 1 Series convertible in name, but it improves upon it in most respects. Now, it's lost some of the old 1's raw engagement, especially in terms of its steering, but it's gained an ample amount of refinement and comfort. Now, those are qualities that you'd usually appreciate in a convertible. Despite this more grown-up character, this is still tremendously fun to drive. There are two versions, and both deliver the sort of sharp responses and involved driving experience expected from BMW. The 228i has a turbocharged four-cylinder that punches way above its weight class. BMW says it'll go from 0 to 60 in 5.7 seconds, which would be quicker than an EcoBoost Mustang. It handles significantly better as well, which shouldn't be that surprising. This is a smaller, more nimble car. Then there's this, the M235i and its 3-liter turbocharged inline 6. Good for 320 horsepower. BMW says it'll go from 0 to 60 in 4.7 seconds, or the same time as a Mustang GT. No Audi A3 Cabriolet comes even close to that. The M235 also comes with a full menu of performance extras like variable ratio steering, upgraded brakes, a sport exhaust, sport seats, and an adaptive sport suspension that firms things up when you want to go fast around corners and then softens them up when you're on a long afternoon cruise. Now, you can get many of those upgrades on the 228i. Also, an 8-speed automatic and rear-wheel drive are standard on both, but you can get a 228 with all-wheel drive and the M235 with a 6-speed manual. That refinement I was talking about earlier definitely applies to this improved cabin. Now, it might not be as finely crafted as an A3, but it's also hard to find areas where it looks or feels less special than a 4 Series. It is definitely smaller than the 4 Series. Very upright back seat, certainly not a lot of legroom. Really, this, like many other convertibles, is a 2 plus 2 cabin. The cloth roof does have advantages, though, compared to retractable hardtops. It can go up or down in 20 seconds and at speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. And you'd be really impressed by how little wind noise gets through this. Believe it or not, this is actually a pretty big trunk for a convertible. And unlike a retractable hardtop, when you lower the roof, you can fit more than just a small briefcase in here. Besides interior space and visibility, another drawback is that you don't get much equipment for your money. A similarly priced or equipped Mustang represents a better value, but then it can't match the two's more nimble nature or higher quality interior. The Audi A3 is a bit cheaper as well, but can't match the two's performance. Still, the 2 Series is considerably less expensive than BMW's 4 Series and Z4, while actually probably being the most fun to drive. What do you think? Which of these luxury slash performance convertibles would you take home?